Hi, I'm Allie. Join me as I show you how to do this simple bezel web flower earring featuring some round duo beads and some custom rivolis. These are really, really fun to work with and you can do them in a multitude of colors, hanging them on your huggy earrings. As always, if you need any materials, go ahead and look below the video in the description. That'll get you links to the Rivolis, the seed beads, and everything that you have. The nice thing is the Rivolis come in a mix pack, and you can make a countless number of these to switch on depending on your outfit for the day. Gather up your supplies, and let's get started. So this video is really fun because you can make this in a ton of different colors, and I'm going to be using the Patina Web Collection, hence the Flower Web Earrings, and we're using the exact same materials for multiple colors. So you can make as many as you want with some silver 15 O's, some silver Crystal Labrador 4 full mini round duos. Those are going to be our base, and then you can pick up whichever of your collection of the patina web you want and some 11 OC beads to match. I have my huggy earrings here, that way I can switch off and on whatever color I want to wear for that day. And we are going to begin with size H green dragon thread and a couple of our round duos, making the center loop and then going back into it and adding another layer. Again, any 11 OC bead to match your fun patina webs, your 15 O's and your round duo minis can stay consistent. I'm using a size 10 needle right now and I have a stop bead at the end of my thread. So to begin, we're gonna make our bezel set for our 14 millimeter Rivoli. And I have seven of my round duo minis on my thread and needle, followed by one 11 O in that beautiful zest color. I have a stop bead on here, but I'm actually gonna tie this into a knot. So I'm gonna go in here and simply tie right over left, left over right, doing that square knot, making sure that none of my seed beads are attached in the knot and pulling it tight. From here, we are going to go through our next round duo mini. And then we're going to do something called a step up. To step up, we're gonna go from the first or inner hole of that round duo to the out, excuse me, the outer hole of the round duo. And we're gonna add another round duo mini, so seven more on the exterior, catching to the second hole of the round duo mini that we just put on. So on goes the round duo mini into the next round duo. If you have a larger, like 18 millimeter Rivoli, you can switch to round duos and do the exact same thing from the minis. Going in here then, stepping up to the next. And this pattern is so easy and so fast to create this bezel. And I like that it still shows off a lot of that 14 millimeter Rivoli. Sometimes bezels can cover a lot of the Rivoli, but you want it to shine. So this one with that patina web is really fun. Going in then, after you get in your seventh one here, we're gonna do another step up. So I'm gonna kind of lock it in place by going back through the first bead that my thread was coming out of, as well as that first round duo mini that I went in for the second row of them. We're gonna give a nice tight pull, and we're gonna take our thread and needle and go up to that second hole, just like we did after the first row of that first round duo mini. We're gonna do our outer row of our petals here. So that is just a combination of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of our 11 O's and on to the next round duo mini. Seven 11's. And this doesn't need to be this exact pattern. You can make the flower on the exterior whatever you want it to be. Seven go on into the next one. So I'm gonna repeat this another five times, getting that outer loop of my flower. And then we're gonna go into the interior here and get ready to do our bezel for the front. Now that we're done our row of seven, we're gonna go back in and we're gonna do a row of five. The row of five is gonna sit in front of our row of seven beads. And the pattern for this one is going to be two 15s followed by one of my 11s followed by two 15s. Right over to the next hole of my round duo mini, same hole, this one just sits, you can see right in front. So same thing here, one, two, in goes the 11, two 15s, onto the next round duo mini. So you're just repeating the same exact thing row around that you just did previously, but this time switching it up to those 15s and that 11. So as we finish going in and adding our five bead beads between that second hole of the round duo mini, 
I'm gonna go through the last round duo mini and bring my needle out towards the back of the piece, which is gonna be behind that row of seven zest 11 O's. Coming out the back here, I wanna add one and two of my 15s. Then I'm gonna add my wire guard. And then I'm gonna add two more of my 15s after coming down the opposite side of the wire guard. And then I'm gonna go into that next hole of the round duo mini. What that's going to do is almost hide the uh, loop for the back of the earring. So when it's being worn, you don't even actually see the loop. It's kind of a, a tricky thing here that the flower can still say the focus and you don't see the wire guard that's holding it onto my uh, huggy earring. From here, we are going to downgrade. We're gonna go from our top hole of our round duo to our bottom hole. And you can see I'm taking the needle and thread from the back of the piece to the front of the piece. When we're here, we're gonna start to do our netting. So this is gonna be coming out of the bottom hole of that second round duo mini. The netting is going to be a combination of two of my, um, I'm sorry, three of my 15s, and then followed by one 11 0. Three 15s, one 11 0. So you're gonna pick up again, three 15s, one 11, three more 15s, And then just like we've been doing, you're sewing from that bottom hole of the round duo over to the bottom hole of the next round duo. So we're still into that second row of our round duos. Those beads just kind of sit and hang out there waiting to go in and get pulled towards the front in order to do our bezel. So see how those just sit kind of in between there? You're going to go around the whole piece here, one, two, three, fifteens followed by 111, followed by 315s, and then on to the second or the interior hole of that second row of round duos. Go ahead and do that the whole way around the piece, and then you can see we're gonna fold them in towards the interior to hold in our patina web rivoli. As you finish adding in that last row of the 315s, 111, 315, what you wanna do is take your thread and needle and you're gonna step up into the netting. So we're gonna go up through our first three 15s that we added on that first little grouping of seven beads. We are going to exit and sew through the 11 OC bead. And now we're gonna catch onto that 11 OC bead as we go through and kind of push our patina pendant in. In between, we're going to do a 15, an 11, and a 15. And then we're gonna catch the top of all of those little loops that we just did. So we're catching on to the 11 OC bead of each and kind of pulling towards the center to pull nice and tight. So again, we're doing a 15, an 11, a 15, going over to the next little loop section here and sewing through just that 11-0, going through and pulling towards the center. Go ahead the whole way around the circle and do that, and then we're gonna reinforce, stringing through everything that we just added one more time to pull that bezel in nice and tight. Once you're done going around that center loop two times, that pulls it in really, really tight for the bezel. You know that your Rivoli is not going anywhere, and you still get to see a lot of that nice patina shine. From here, we are going to take our thread and needle to the back, reinforce that back loop one more time, and tie off the threads. It's very simple. So just like we've been upgrading, downgrading, we're gonna do the same thing, coming through and going and downgrading into the smaller, or the center round duo minis. Going over then through that center row. If you want to and you don't like the back exposed or you want the earring to be reversible, you can do a simple peyote pattern here, going in, adding an 11, adding an 11, and kind of close up the back. I know that my front is gonna be my focus, hanging on my huggy earring, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm gonna string my thread and needle all around that center, get to the final thread here, and then just tie them off along the back, burn the thread edge down, and that finishes up this beautiful web flower earring. 
Thanks so much for joining me to create these web flower earrings. They really are fun and I can't wait to do a multitude of colors in all different Rivoli's only switching the 11 OCB to bring that color pop. Remember, if you need any supplies, go ahead and look below the video. There's links in the description that get you back to our website, which will have all of those materials listed that you can click on and see the options. As always, if you haven't yet, hit that little subscribe button so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beats. Thanks so much for watching Potomac Beaters and stay tuned for more inspirational designs.